Whew, is it getting hot in here or is it just me? Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here and welcome back to more Let's Play Mischief Makers. Last time we completed everything back on Planet Clancer. We got all the gold gems. We have had some pretty decent scores for our timing in the levels. Today, we are going to be delving headfirst into Megan Shrine. A series of levels where the game does get a little bit more difficult, but not by much. As you can see, the layout is much different as it's focusing a little bit more on the 3D, especially with these stairs right here. We've got these little clam balls right here, all sporting very, very fancy hats, although I'm not really a big fan because I can't wear the hat, so they go into the hot drink. Not what we can do with the clam ball up here, but we can grab these gems. And there seems to be something over there, possibly a portal, who knows? We'll grab some health because we did actually take a lot of damage back in the volcano level. So it's a good thing that there's all these blue gems right here. I'm he hell, I think that's actually what these are for to replenish most of your lives for when you get here for the first time after the volcano. Let's see, grab the clam ball right here. And we actually do get an uh, indication that something has happened. So why don't we head on back over to that ring back in the first area. And as you can see, the warp gate's here. And now we need to run super... F oh, not super fast. I'm thinking of a different level. We just need to be careful of the, um, the giant fi fire guys who's jumping around. See, you got anything? Nope. What use are you? There's a bunch of these, like, I guess you could call them minor clancers or maybe worker clancers in here. Whatever they're doing, they're, it looks like they're just having some fun spelunking. But they may have <laughs> gotten a little bit over their heads. What do you got to say, Miss Hint? Use your slide wisely. Hold down and press A. You remember how, right? I mean, you literally just told us, so no. But why use the slide when I can just jump right over? Use the clan Ferris wheel right here. We can shake in so that we can get these red gems and also be a little bit safe from the fire, unlike that, because I'm a complete and total idiot. Got ourselves a green gem right there so that we can refill a little bit of health and also the same with these blue gems. Ooh, they are really wanting you to play fast and loose for those red gems. Oof. Thankfully, we managed to get a couple of them. And there's our gold gem for this level, so it doesn't matter if we botch this jump because so long as we grab the gem and we don't, you know, die and have to leave the level, uh, it still will count. So I want to be good. Thank you. Ooh. Although it does send you back quite a ways and takes a lot of health out, out of your little energy bar down there, so probably best not to fall into the boiling hot magma. Or is this lava? I think it's lava because magma is like the surface version and uh, it's more like rocky gravel, or gravel type stuff. There's another chance we can grab for that red gem. I'm... Come on, we can get it. We can get it. There we go. Bragging rights. Right, jump. Okay. These little tiny jumps always unnerve me to no end. Oh boy. Ooh. I don't know if. Uh, do I, dare, dare I shake this thing to see if we actually get something? We already got the gold gem. Oh, what the hell? Nope. That's just here so we can get up here. One, two, one, two, three. Ah, this one has a four shot. All right, there we go. Fire to go fast, and let's go through the port, port gate. And there we go, that's it, the level. Score-wise, we've got a C rank. I'm guessing that fall into the lava really cost us the time. All right, hope you all don't have suffering from any vertigo, because that's where we're going next. As you can see, the main uh, name of the game for uh, the shrine is, well, showing off that this game can do 3D graphics. And I don't think it emphasizes it any more than this level by itself. As you can see, well, you got the 3D graphics in the background. Something that kind of looks like something right out of Ocarina of Time with, like, the layout of the back walls there. Also, one of the more iconic songs of this game. I cannot get that gem up there to save my life. Which, you know, I kind of want to because it might actually save my life. But there's like... Ooh. 
There's like three levels in, or three songs in this game that I really associate Mischief Makers with. It's this song, the first song when we got to the first level. And there's another one, but however, I don't think we're going to be seeing it for quite a while. Or, well, hearing it for quite a while. Okay, seriously. Maria. There we go. I forgot the clam bombs actually don't hurt you, so I can play fast and loose with those things. Ooh, need to be super careful because if we actually botch that jump, then we'd have to do all that all over again. There, break this. Suffer a little bit of vertigo. I apologize to anyone if they get a little sick watching this uh, video. I might just throw up like a timestamp at the beginning just so that anyone who does suffer from it doesn't have to sit through this level. Alright, now we actually do have a bit of a scary clam uh, bomb challenge. We have to get all the way up here. I believe if we get up there, that leads to the gold gem for the level because there's the exit uh, warp gate, so we're going to need to be super careful. Ooh, they give you a little to no time. Oof. A lot of time is taken away from it. It's always just one second for these clam bombs. These clam blocks were just randomly exploding. Oh wait, actually, you know what? I know why. Yeah, break this. And not screw it up right there. I need to do No, don't do that, you idiot. I need to head up here. Grab the clam bomb. Not let it blow up right in our face. We need to just drop it right here. Grab it, shake, drop, get up. And screw this up again. How is this supposed to go? Oh wait, there it goes. Oh, 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 we made it. I am surprised we made it. But I don't see, maybe it wasn't this. Nope, it was. So we're going to have to revisit this level in the future to grab the gold gem because I missed out on it. Alright, so another rank C. Like I said, a lot of these levels are pretty quick, which is why the fastest time is like maybe a minute, maybe a minute and a half, two minutes. So we're just going to have to come back and hopefully get a better score. But for now, it's time to see if we can sink or float. Ah, this is the other song I was thinking of when I think of Mischief Makers. Just this song. I don't know why, it's very calming. Nope. No! No, what are you doing, you fool? Oh, I can see this guy's not a fan of our spelunking. Well, here, take a ball to the face. These guys are super desperate. They want to kill me just to keep their platform raised. No! Come on, Santa Clamball. We can... We'll get through this together. Oh, no, Santa! Oh, you're back. All right, come on. We'll get through this together, buddy. Oh. Get him, buddy. No, Santa! You fool! You were so young! I blame you for this. Nope, that's from you. Uh, from you. Which means that's the only use you got for me. How about you, buddy? Anything? Nope. And yoink. Jump in here. Let's jump up here. Wait for our second clam ball ride to arrive. Thank you very much. I don't know why these spikes are down here. There's like literally no no reason to want to let go over that pit of lava. And you don't get anything from shaking the clam ball, so that's just an unneeded hazard. Alright, so we got the exit warp gate right here. However, we have this little arrow of gems pointing this way. 
So what we're gonna need to do is get a bit of a running start and do a lot of dashes. Ah, we barely make it. Ah, man, they really make you work for the... All right. Ah. What we need to go do is we need to get to that platform because that's where the gold gem is located. So let's try it again. Jump up. Ah. They really make you work for this. Maybe off at the very edge. Come on, Maria. Are we actually going to see uh, what happens if we run out of all the health just because I cannot make this simple jump? Wait, wait. I have an ingenious idea. Wow. They really punished me for that one. There we go. That's what I was thinking of doing. Just use the clam ball as a little extra height. All right. One, two, three. Come on. Ah, there was the gold gem. <laughs> yeah. All right. Alternatively, instead of using the clam ball, you can just do the long jump. Although it's kind of hard, as you can see by my health, I've taken a lava bath a couple of times. We need to be super careful. We're gonna to need to do an actual actually gonna to need to do a, another long jump from here because there's no way we're gonna be able to make it with just standard jumps. So it's one, two. Yeah. And I failed, which means I get to show off what happens if you lose all your health. So we got 30 seconds to choose. We can either go back using 10 gems for a normal continue, we can get a life up continue, or we can go with max power. Um, basically, you start with only no extra energy bars for this, one energy bar for the 30, and then full health with both energy bars for 100. Or I'm done, which basically ends the game right there. So, we got some gems we can spare. Slow down, Professor. It's time to press it now. Always love Maria's, that's better. Just just that vote of confidence. Now that we got full health, we can tr attempt that uh, gold gem again, so I'll see you there. Yeah! There we go, finally! God, that took forever! Thankfully, they give you an exit warp gate out there as well, so you don't have to extend your time there. But man, look at that time for it! It, this mission and that was after I died because that resets the timer for it Oof that rank D it stings Oof from one hot rush to another it's time to enter 2-4 Speaking of hot rush time to run out of my way you fool I'm more important than you grab these because I wasted way too many gems from the first one and I screwed up because this is just actually the safe zone for the area all right nothing from you oh, come on buddy I'll save you let's go anything nope ah that's what I was thinking of We need to actually grab that as uh, we jump, so we need to be super careful with it. So, nothing we can do for the Clancers right here. This guy's safe. I will grab the red gems, though, just in case something does happen and we're going to need to use another continue. Especially if I can't jump like that. Alright, fine. We'll save him. Come on, buddy. This will be the run that does it. I know it. Well, saved one, but condemned the other. That's what he gets for not sharing. I need to time that better. Alright, you know what? Forget those red gems. Let's just head over here. Wasn't that? Maybe it was just to uh, get me inside there faster.
Nope, it just sends me all the way over here. Alright, I graciously accept my fate. Things I do for these gold gems, I swear. I was thinking that this actually wasn't going to be a very hard section because it was only level 2 of the game. But no, they really do make you work for these gold gems. Especially when you can't grab the damn warp gate like that. Yeah! Alright, got the white clam ball. Gotta move super fast. Don't want to get caught up in these explosions, especially with that uh, high pillar of clam blocks. Jump, da grab. If you're ballsy enough to grab all the blue and green gems down there, be my guess, but I'm not ballsy enough to do that. Grab the warp gate. Let's go through here. There's our reward. Check that. Grab ourselves a gold gem, and we are almost home free. Yeah! Alright. Free. Let's get out of here because I and leave this shaking mess behind. Oh. Oh my god. That took almost as long as the sink or float one. Oh. Alright. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen... Ah, you know what? Let's go to 2-5. Why not? We still got plenty of time. This is actually one of the more uh, relaxed levels after the uh, anxiety-induced mess that was the last one. Work, work, work. I need a short break. I think it's meaningless, but it's really refreshing. Be careful. If you hold still, you're going to sink. Uh, it's so relaxing to not have to think about a thing. This feels great. What? You want to help across? Grab on and swing with us. But remember, we can't hold you for long. So yeah, the main gimmick of this level, as you can see, is the fact of these swinging clancers right here. These guys are pretty chill. Although they can't hold your weight for long, but you know what? They're, they're being nice, they're being courteous. You can also kind of uh, throw yourself up so you can get uh, the more of the prizes. But as you can see, the better they get, the uh, less time you have to hold on to them. Go back here and grab the stuff. Don't actually throw yourself off. You just uh, sort of do a little bit of a jump. Ooh. Gotta play it fast and loose with these guys. Alright. As you can see, there's the exit of the level. But However, we haven't gotten the gold gem yet. Where could it be? Well, with these guys. Gotta play one of, possibly one of my favorite like Mario Party 3 minigames, which was like a Vine Swinging minigame. Be super careful. They're kind of uh, not swinging in sync, so you really want to time your jumps well. But however, we got our gold gem. We also got a bunch of blue gems right here if you were like me and decided to, you know, waste a lot of your health and lives during the last couple of missions. However, we got the gold gem. Let's get out of here. Also, got a really weird thing in, because of the camera right there that it's. Super weird. Oh, whatever. We got a B rank. Not an A rank, sadly, but whatever. Alright. Now, with that said and done, next time on Let's Play Mischief Makers, we're going to continue on through Megan Shrine. We're hopefully going to be able to knock the rest of these areas out, and, you know, we're going to have to deal with some bees next time. So, see you all then.